Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 214. Inflammation. What are all the Latin terms and their definition used to characterize inflammation? Inflammation is characterized by rubor, which is redness, dolor, which is pain, calor, which is heat, tumor, which is swelling, and functio lasse, which is loss of function. So these are all the things that occurs in inflammation. What are the vascular components of inflammation? In inflammation, there is increase in vascular permeability, there is vasodilation and endothelial injury. And the reason vascular permeability and vasodilation occurs in inflammation is to allow the inflammatory cells to get to the site of inflammation. What is the cellular component of inflammation? The cellular component of inflammation is when neutrophils extravasate from circulation to the injured tissue and there the neutrophils then will participate in inflammation through phagocytosis, degranulation and inflammatory mediator release. Name all the things that mediate acute inflammation. Acute inflammation is mediated by neutrophils, eosinophils and antibodies. Describe the onset and duration of acute inflammation. Acute inflammation has a rapid onset where it starts from seconds to minutes and it can last for minutes to days. What are the potential outcomes of acute inflammation? Acute inflammation can have three outcomes where it can completely resolve, it can lead to abscess formation, or it can progress into chronic inflammation. What cells mediate chronic inflammation? Chronic inflammation is mediated by mononuclear cells such as macrophages. Describe the process of chronic inflammation. In chronic inflammation, there is persistent destruction and repair along with blood vessel proliferation, fibrosis, and eventually a formation of granuloma. What is the eventual outcome of chronic inflammation? The outcomes of chronic inflammation include scarring and amyloidosis. What is a granuloma? A granuloma is a nodular collection of epithelioid macrophages and giant cells and granulomas are formed when the immune system attempts to wall up substances that it perceives as foreign object but is unable to eliminate them. So in this case it forms it into a granuloma, which is considered a property of chronic inflammation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.